Thank you so much for watching this episode of Scribe Babies. Tori and I would like to thank patrons like the ones you see on the screen right now for making episodes like this possible. We would like to give a special shout out to our tier 5 patrons who have been here with us since day 1. Thank you to Flower Faye, Killian, Uncle Butts, and Ravesh for being here with us. If you'd like to check out our Patreon and show some support, we have tiers as low as 1 US dollar that include things like Discord, and we have other amazing rewards such as tokens and stickers and a bunch of other really cool goodies on there. It goes into taking care of our guests, our staff, our editors, and just making a more well-rounded episode for you here on YouTube. If that's not your jam, that's totally okay. We would love if you can like and share and subscribe. I think that's what people ask for here on YouTube. So that's a really cool, easy and free way to show your support here. That's it for now. And we'll see you on the next Cry Baby. If you'd like to support the show and get some sick merch in return, check out our store over on Bonfire. We have hats, hoodies, t-shirts, and some home goods as well. The link is in our bio. Enjoy the episode. Welcome, Scribe Babies. I'm Louis Stardust. I'm Tori the Best. And we're here at Elm City Games today playing some casual EDH with our friends, Alan and Mental Misplay and Veggie Wagon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> beautiful angels. Would you like to tell us a bit about yourself and what you're playing today? What's up, guys? Ramp Gang, Mental Misplay. Uh, I typically, you can find us on anywhere you can write Mental Misplay. Honestly, you could go down to the beach and write it in the sand and I'll pop out of the waves and throw a beach party with you. Um, typically we do CEDH on Mondays and Friday, or sorry, Tuesdays and Fridays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and we, yeah, showcase all sorts of CEDH, casual gameplay uh, on Twitch and then YouTube videos. And if you're lucky enough to catch me at an event and I stick a mic in your face and I'll ask you a bunch of wild questions about magic. So I'm here to play, uh, play gigs. We're talking about the commander now? Yeah, yeah, yeah part tell, of it. Him, tell I'm him. playing Gix, Yawgmoth Praetor. This guy, uh, he's gonna draw some cards. We're gonna draw some cards, all of us. It's, oh. it's gonna be- it, I love drawing cards. Yeah, we, we get a lot of like evasive creatures, a lot of bats, weirdly enough. Mm. And uh, and yeah, it's it, it changes the way the game works. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for this too. I've never played against it. It's cool. Yeah, <laughs> looks pretty metal. Uh, hi, I'm Veggie Wagon, uh, co-host of Decked Out. Um, I don't know, you can find me on the internet, I guess. I do MTG comedy. I'm inescapable. So you'll see something stupid that I've done uh, on on the World Wide Web. Today, I'm playing Rocco Cavaretti Caterer, but not like that. Uh, the goal of this deck is to tutor out Tempting Worm as fast as possible so that everybody gets to do their thing immediately. Uh, it'll allow all players, except for me, to put any number of permanents for free onto the battlefield <laughs> from their hand. Not you? Not me. No, it's not even, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It, but then it, you'll see what happens. I, I have then built the deck to navigate around that. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. You say Tempting Worm a lot in CDH and now I know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be playing Lathril, Blade of the Elves. I just really like elves. This is probably the first EDH deck I had. Um, so I'm excited to just make as many elves as possible and destroy everybody with her death ability. I'm going to be playing the first sliver because I'm annoying. <laughs> um, and I like to make it everybody else's problem. So the goal of this deck is to cascade into a bunch of annoying worms, give them flying, death touch, poisonous, you name it, they'll have it. Uh, and that's the point of the deck. So I love playing this deck. It's very fun for me. Veggie, you won the die roll, so you get to go first. Yep. Uh, you decide. We just decide, like based on clout, right? Was how we determine the turn oh, order. Oh, so I go first. <laughs> Are we sure <laughs> about <laughs> that? Likes before beauty. <laughs> Have we seen Alan's Pompadour? <laughs> it's got its own fan page, probably somewhere. I'm gonna make sure it's in the shot. I hope it's not cut off. No, it's beautiful. But never <laughs> It's very, very important that it's not coming off. Uh, yeah, no, I just, I just want to die roll into it. What All right. The term higher, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, higher the hair, higher the clout, you know. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, <laughs> <continue. clout. laughs> Okay. Um, we're gonna spectator seating a very casual soul ring. Don't worry about it. Uh, tap it, tap it. I'm gonna tap it uh, for two mana and pass. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I will draw a magic card. Uh, surprising to everybody, I'm gonna play a forest and then I will tap that forest and put out an elvish mystic. Pass the turn. Cool. I'm gonna draw. I'm going to shock in a godless shrine. I'm not worried about going 38. It's commander. I'm going to tap it for my own soul ring. And I'm gonna pass the turn without tapping wow. soul ring. Everybody got ramp. Mm -hmm. We all everybody got ramp. 
Don't right. mess this up. We're gonna top deck that big ramp, that big, big ramp. Okay, it's <laughs> it's not ramp, but it's awesome. Alan's one land hand. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start with the swamp. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tap the swamp. And it's your boy, it's Ginger Brew, yeah. baby! Oh, <laughs> it's it's no. literally one of my favorite cards in Magic's history, period. Like, I put it in everything. I, I will never see this card and not think of funny Trek jokes two? about his, uh, oh. his... <laughs> he's, he's gooping. Uh, <laughs> We're not a family-friendly channel. <laughs> Me. Uh, Shrek 2, you. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna threaten Louis. <gasps> yeah, you're gonna block the elf? No, is this, I just said how much I love this. You gave me a little yeah, kiss give from the little, gingy brute. Yeah, so get this frosting. <laughs> the gingy brute. Kiss. I'll gingy. ship it from there, but it pass. <laughs> frosting kiss is one way to put it. Mm -hmm. Do you know the muffin man? I'm gonna play a Temple of Abandon. Let's take a look at, see if our worm is here. Are you scrying? Yeah. Unscry, oh, baby. Unscry, Lord. Squirt. 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 What is it Solid. Do? Yeah. What is that? So uh, whenever whenever a creature dies, anybody's creature dies, I can exile it. Um, and then this makes one turn copies of that creature. But anytime something else dies, I can swap them out. So it's... Wife swap. Yeah, wife swap. <laughs> Perfect. And it's a, it's a May on the swap? Um, it's a May on the swap, yes. The amount of times wife swap comes up with you is, <laughs> is so specific. I've been on a wife swap kick lately. Yeah, 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 I'm into yeah. it. Yeah. Well, not swiping the wires. This is a lot. Uh, All right, continue. Uh, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna swap what so pass turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will untap and draw a card. Cool, love that. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> put out a forest. We will tap three for a tireless provisioner. Nice. Uh, I can't play another land, obviously, so I will pass the turn. Very cool. Oh, I'm gonna draw. I'm going to play a Temple Garden. Take two. I will tap one for a Brilliant Sliver, giving them all poisonous. No. Poisonous is like fake infect, is that correct? It's like 10? Kinda, yeah. <clears throat> so if they all have poisonous, whenever they attack, they hit for poisonous. Like, it'd be like one, two, three, if they was. It's, a, it's not like their power of their like toughness. Okay, so they, they have get like a poison they, counter. they have one poison counter on all of them. So if they connect, you get a poison counter. Okay. And if and you have ten, you die. It's like infect, but not quite. Right. I'm going to pass the turn from there. Yes, Let's go untap. Big draws. Hmm. A swamp. We're gonna keep being threatening. We'll come after you with the ginger brood. I'll take it. Yep. And we're gonna play a Dominaria All Star. Uh, Battlefly Swarm. Ooh. One one flying. <laughs> tap for one black. Gives it death touch until end of turn. I love that card. Phyrexian Insect. It's this thing was a pain in the butt in any pre-release I mm -hmm. made. This thing was just like I drafted that. No, oh yeah, yeah. Just an absolute pain. Uh, and I'll tap one more. We'll bring out his buddy Sturge. Uh, <laughs> uh, a one one insect bat flying cannot block. Uh, tap for a one colorless and one black, pay one life, sacrifice it, draw a card. Ooh. All right, so you did draft this deck. Yes. I mean, basically, <laughs> this is just all, <laughs> listen, we're, we're trying to be evasive and cheap and- I'm so cheap. Off to you. <laughs> we'll pass from there. All right, I'm gonna shock in Sacred Foundry. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I could do Rocco X's two to grab a Tempting Worm. I could do that. That's tempting. <laughs> or I could just play the Tempting Worm that was in my opening hand. <laughs> no way, <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> so what does this Tempting Worm do? Okay, um, each opponent may now put any number of uh, artifact, creature, enchantment, uh, and lands from their hand on the battlefield. So any permanents that are not planeswalkers. Okay. Free as many as you want. This is a trick. <laughs> it, cool. It's it's not it's not a. Well, I can't say it's not a trick, but um, 
I'm not looking to like gotcha. It's not okay, a bait so and switch. Okay, so it's not like when we do it, you get something right away. I yeah, I get nothing but if from you have this. Other cards, maybe you get something. Yes. Okay. So, in turn order, choose the things that you want to uh, put under the battlefield. Place them face down. Okay. Um, once everybody's done that, we'll flip them up simultaneously, and then we'll see how things shake out from there. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so my question for you is, it's, it's everything except instant sorceries, planeswalkers. Yes. So lands, creatures, all yes. permanents. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Enjoy. I'm scared. Here's one, here's two, here's three cards. Okay. I also have one, two, and Alan's three. whole hand, I'm gonna scream. Full grip. <laughs> yes! Full yes! grip goes straight down. <laughs> All right, so what do you do nothing. I do nothing. Yeah, this doesn't even this doesn't even allow me to do this. He likes to watch. I oh. I like to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're if you're locked into this, I'm locked. flip them up. Let's see what we got. You go first. Um, Ron Walker. Cool. What? I'm a, what? What is it? It's, oh, it's a shapeshifter. Um, so when it enters the battlefield, I'll choose elves, and then I can look at the top card of my library at any time, and I can cast creature cards of the spell chosen from the type of my library. Um, then we have a Gala Greeters. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn, and it gets a plus one, plus one counter um, on Gala Greeters. I can gain two life or a trapped That's gonna be nice. treasure token, and then a forest. I've got a Blood Crypt. A diffusion sliver. Uh, whenever a sliver creature becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, I have to counter it unless they pay two. Okay. Pretty awesome. And then I have a cloud shredder sliver, which gives them all flying in haste. Even more awesome. I got three swamps and Al an Alheimeritz archive. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's double life, double draw. Double life, double draw for me. And you don't oh, yeah. want to play with veggie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I'm very happy. Yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm hyped. Uh, and then there were triggers, yes. Yeah, okay, so... Nobody else, though? Nope. I have a tireless revisioner trigger, so I'm going to make a uh, treasure token with that. And then my Gala Readers took treasure. I can gain two life, but a plus one, plus one counter, or a tapped treasure token. We'll do the tapped treasure token. That seems good. All right. Yeah, I think I think my work here is done. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. So before <clears throat> your insta biggest or just, you know, <gasps> I can't do that. <laughs> cool, so I untap and I will draw that card. <laughs> this one taps. So now move this and you'll know I have two treasures. I drew that, I can look at the top card, which is this, does nothing for me. Or does it? Dun, You're dun, just dun. creating chaos. I, I love this so much. I love it too, honestly. All right, everybody. We're going to cast everybody's favorite elf commander, Lathril, Blade of the Elves. Yikes. Woo! Three, four. All right. She's just a little lady. <laughs> you look so concerned. The, the, I, I remember that the second ability is just like oh, a nightmare. Yes. It is. It does something real bad. It's, it's right? never been a problem for anybody, from my <laughs> it does understanding. Something real bad. So on uh, the Castle Wathrow, I do have a Gallagher trigger, and I am going to put. Uh, I'm just going to gain two life. All right. Then I would like to sack this treasure and tap this forest for a three visits. Oh. Mm. Um, so I am going to search my library for a force card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle my library. Actually, there is one on top that I saw. Perfect. Is that okay? Wow, yeah. cheating. Yeah, I saw it when, uh, well, because of I, no <laughs> So it just goes out. It does not get tapped. Uh, trigger tireless provisioner because the land enters, right? Mm hmm And we'll get a treasure. Um, I will, Alan, why do you have so much stuff? I'm chilling. I guess I have oh, less permanence than you do. <laughs> but I want to swing. Or maybe the same. You know what? Maybe you should just do it anyway. How big? Is I've got two one ones. One of which I can give death touch. No. This one can't block. Sturge is chilling. <laughs> I really want to take down some of your board. And what? Did, and you got something not great. Um, I got a cool artifact and a bunch of evasive attackers. You know what? And I'm just trying to draw cards. I'm just gonna 
It's okay if you block something. Yeah. That's fine. A two, yes. three, a three, two, and a one, one. I'll take six. Yes, you right. fools. You <laughs> fell for it. <laughs> the voice I'll pass the turn. Well, untap me, Temple Garden. This is a good one. I'm going to pay two to cast a rampant growth. Uh, so off the rampant growth, I got an island. It's going to come in tapped. Who's got flyers? You got flyers. That's not flyers, maybe. You got flyers? No, maybe. I just got you one. You just gave me one my chunky flyers, boy. So you have no flyers. All right, well, let me just just think about it. What if I did have flyers? <laughs> That'd be a different conversation. Okay. But you don't. Remember this moment. <laughs> Remember this moment. Continue. I can't not attack. Yeah, go ahead. Swing it at me. Okay. Remember this You moment. just asked. There's three poisonous slivers flying at you. Okay. So, uh, are they, they're all flying? Yes. Okay, and what is the total damage? For three. Three, and then I take three poison? Yes, Which poison will... for Cusco. So three poisons, and that is all. I hate that. I get a turn? You get to go. I love this. <clears throat> what do you normally, do, do people not let you <laughs> have turns? <laughs> I'm always, every time I get to take a turn, I'm always pleased. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll draw. All right, solid. We will tap for three, and it's, Preyton time? Uh, <laughs> out comes Gix. And we'll do, we'll move. You got no creatures. I just spared you three poison. You're going to eat one ginger root damage. Okay, I'll take the one ginger uh, root damage. We'll throw Sturge at you in the nope, air. No, no. Uh, you got. Battlefly swarms coming at you. Hmm. And we've got one ginger brute damage one brute. coming through you. How much is it in one. one. You got one flying coming at each of you. I like how you're like, don't hurt me. I'm like, Three damage. <laughs> Gix trigger, mm -hmm. I will pay three life. I'll hammer its archive trigger, I will draw six cards. Woo! <laughs> Get them, buddy. <laughs> How many cards do you have in hand currently? One. Oh, anything good? Yeah. Can I see? No. <laughs> Drop land for turn is going to be. We're gonna flex on them. We got the Susan Van Camp Swamp. Ooh. Let's go, and uh, we'll give. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll Make give <laughs> Battlefly Swarm and Sturge a friend. We'll bust out Gurmag Swiftwing. What uh, is the <laughs> names of these cards, Alan? <laughs> Where did you find the? <laughs> I went on Gatherer, and I think I typed in like two, ma two mana black creatures with flying, and all sorts of cool stuff came up. Yeah. Gurmag Swiftwing from Cons, apparently. Yeah. Uh, one two bat flying for a strike in haste. Ooh. Uh, so he's a flappy boy. That's for not sure. bad. No, for two mana, it's amazing. And oh, colorless and a black too. This thing's got all the keywords. It's ready. Uh, so Gix, by the way, um, whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of my opponents, its controller may pay one life if they do draw a card. So that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the immediate slap. So that's. That's all, all you guys oh, get Oh, okay, to, so oh, yeah. pay one draw a card? Oh, no, 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 when oh. it's your, oh, when your creatures. Yeah. When oh, when you he guys, do it. If we hit each other oh. and not and not oh. then we Reading can also... Reading the card explains the card. I didn't read it. <laughs> when you guys punch each other, you get to draw cards Because for of your thing. That's because cool. of Gix. That. Normally, that second ability that we're not going to talk about right now would like be de kill on sight, but the greed keeps him around. Mm -hmm. Like he's yeah. what's the second ability? Oh, it's it's no big deal. It's um <laughs> so he's uh he's a three three Phyrexian Praetor by the way, uh, for four colorless and three black. That's seven mana. I can discard X cards and then exile the top X cards of target opponent's library, and I may play lands and cast spells from among the cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. Well, I don't like that, but <clears throat> no, that's nobody okay. likes that. I'm very fine with it. Nobody likes that at all. Um, but in the meantime, you guys get to draw cards. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I like that. I oh pass. my God, that's so cool. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see, got my card. We're gonna go one, two, three, use two of it for a gift of estates. Yeah. Poor man's land tax. Uh, I can search for three planes if somebody has more lands in me, which for sure everyone does. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Faithless Looting. Oh, solid. Get some cars and throw away these planes that I just grabbed. Uh, oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, do it. I love bad wow. ideas. Over, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely keeping it. I also <laughs> discard a Gilded Goose. YouTube short right Daddy, there. I want a Gilded Goose. <laughs> 
I'm gonna play a planes and we tap one, two, and use that last floating mana for a Cloudstone Curio. Cloudstone? Mm-hmm. Hey. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds Very good. Cool. Yeah. It, it's good, like, in decks that are good. Uh, this is just gonna let me play more Worm. Uh, and then, yeah, I can smack somebody for five, because I think most of these things, but if I, I don't draw- You can smack me, I'm tapped out. Right, oh, yeah, you draw, draw cards. Okay, yeah. I get to draw a yeah. card. Oh you, oh, you do have, you're not I've gonna got, black with I've Gix. got Gix and Gurmag Swift for you. <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah. I also have, uh, just <clears> I'm like, the obvious choice. Tori's like, please do it I want to, to me. draw a card. No, I draw a card. Damn it. If I hit you, I draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, well you then I get hit... an excuse to hit you back. It's true. And you'll be tired. All right, out. so, uh, Lou, that's gonna be for you. Okay. <laughs> you will all pay for what you've done to me. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of, I'm gonna pay one, right? <laughs> uh, and draw a card. Nice. And I'm gonna pass my turn. You stinky <laughs> All right, everybody. <clears throat> Let's get silly. I'll draw some money. Oh. Oh. What if got, I had flying? Now you got what if I had other stuff? Now what you if got I flyers. could get through to Veggie? Now you got flyers. She does. They be flying, flapping right. their wings. You're gonna have to sacrifice one. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, besties. A lot of dawn talk. <laughs> Did you expect any less? Mm -hmm. All Always right. more. So. You have two creatures to block with? I've got, yep, Gix and Gurmag Swiftwing. <laughs> <laughs> I will like... send my Lathril at Veggie. You have three things to send at me. So I will just send a three, two, at you in the air. At who? At Tori, sorry. Nice. Um, yes, you have too many things that I don't want to. Well, see. you don't draw cards if you hit me. Well, that's not the problem. I don't care about that. <laughs> I just am scared of. I've got yeah. Yeah. Some some blockers. One so, of those first strike. Once again, a last roll <laughs> for Veggie, a Tyler's provisioner for you. So three, or actually, I'm sorry, four and uh, three over here. Thank you, Muchly. Yes. One, two, three. Um, so I'll get three elves that will get plus one plus ones on them. And they will be flying and indestructible and terrifying. Um, I'm making me know. I'll give you before Thanks. you go into second main. I'll give you once. Oh yeah. And then I I draw a pay, card. Pay two, you hit two people Ooh. with two with one creature. You're trying please. to do something scary to me. No, nope, just two life. just gi giving you the. All right, I will actually take two. Yeah, that's free cards. And I will draw two. Ooh, free. Okay. And then I'll look at the top card of my library. I'll put, yeah, he's got a knife. Nice. <laughs> a knife! <laughs> What's he Christmas elf? Because oh, it's Christmas! <laughs> All right, so we got three of these little buddies. Uh, I'm going to play my land for turn, uh, which will trigger my tireless provisioner, making me a, another treasure token. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that is not relevant at the moment. I will sack one of my treasures, tap this forest to put lightning greaves on laugh roll, please. Sound okay? Sounds great. No responses. All right. And then, turns out drawing cards is fun, huh? All right. Who'd have thought? Nobody else came in here, so we're good. I will pass the turn. All right, let's draw. Cool, I gotta tell you. I forgot that was in this deck. I'm gonna tap five and make Wooberg. Oh. To cast the no. sliver. No. Totally fine. I'm going to <clears throat> cascade. It is a spiteful sliver. They all have. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Solid. Any responses? No. You're all tapped out. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great news for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've got a lot of slivers. They're all flying. They all have haste. They're all annoying. Here they are. <laughs> um, all right, who wants to get bopped? <laughs> I'm gonna try to spread the love a little bit here. I'm going to just send a spiteful sliver over at Veggie. And the first sliver over it out. Yep. 
Uh, so that's seven <clears throat> coming at you, one poison. Seven. Two coming at you, one poison. Now, if I hit you, I don't get to draw cards, even though I'm hitting you two. But you you still draw from you hitting draw me. Oh, I do. Just from okay. the opponents. Okay, yeah. just from the opponents. Cool. So like, even if you wanted to... I thought if I betrayed... It has to do damage, opponent. right? For them to draw, or was it on attack? Uh, yeah, it has to do damage. Okay, yeah, yeah and you can't pop yeah. me. Um, they're flyers, so... so you're taking a seven. I think I'm going to take the seven, which is probably a bad call in hindsight. It's literally to draw two extra cards. Um, How can it be in hindsight now? It's current sight. It's, okay, sure. Um... You should. You gotta block with your your yeah, gutter banger. We're gonna banger. we're gonna put the gutter banger. Yeah, we're gutter gonna push him in front of <laughs> Gutter banger. <laughs> gutter, <laughs> gutter banger goes down. Oh. Um, All right. And then over here. Rip gutter banger. Yeah, I know. Two. Yeah. And one poison. I'm going to pay a life and draw a card. Solid. I'm going to pass the turn. Untaps. Don't you just love slivers? Big draws. That's I'm, bigger, I'll move right to punchies. We're gonna swing five at veggie, oh, two in the air, three on the ground, and we will give. Do you have any hasties? No, right. Me right now. Yeah, no hasty no, no, boys. No. We'll give Ginger Brute the can't be blocked except yep. by hasties, and we'll poke you for one. You got it. Wow. What a good baby. Five. I've been spared on this day. I will pay four and draw eight. Well, land for turn will be coffers. Oh, that's awful. No big that. deal. No big deal. Mm. It's cool. It's, it's cool. It's Stinky. cool. We're chill. Is it like make everybody freak out? Yes. Not make do everybody it. freak out. Yeah. Do it. I, don't, I never know what to do in these uh, cases. Freak um, out. Exactly. <laughs> it's at three. Yes. Ah. Yeah. And I saw. Uh, we'll play Nighthawk Scavenger. He's cool. Okay. Uh, flying Death Tough Life Link. Sorcerer. Power is equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in my opponent's graveyard. And then we will tap for six, and we'll play a Wound Reflection. Ooh. Hey, that's you! What? <laughs> uh, I said it's, it doubles the damage. Sorry, bud. At, the end, at your end step, or at Alan's end step, right? So like, oh, the damage that I've taken, I take again? Yeah, yeah. you'll take another five. five. You'll take another Is that one. every end step, or just yours? Uh, at the beginning of each end step. Okay. <laughs> so it, it makes those gicks yeah. Triggers a little more painful. It makes you guys punch uh -oh. each other a little more painful. Uh, you realize that if I tap Lathril down at all, everybody loses 20 life. Everybody but me, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I, yeah, all okay. right. <laughs> yep. I can't get there yet. I'm just putting that on the table. Oh, uh, yeah, it's because each, each opponent. Yeah. Um, I'll move to Dumpies. We'll dump three swamps and uh, Ebb and Death can go chill in there also. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna look at top card in my library again. He's, he's cool. He, he's he's uh, happy in there. Um, okay, they go to my... What's the worst that happens? I play him from there? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not this turn, I'm all tapped out. Off to you, full grips, big ships. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. So, I'd, I'd like to play the worm again, uh, but that would be a very bad idea considering you you have how many, three cards in here? Just three. You have how many cards in here? Uh, two, that will do. Yeah. And how many cards do you have in hand? It's cool, don't worry, they're cool, they're like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. super I will tell you, mine relevant. Would, mine would have no effect, um, and so you're, you probably just give Alan a lot of good stuff. Right, that's how also. How about we just get rid of Alan's hand and he doesn't draw any more cards? Get rid cards of my hand. What if we get rid of Alan and then. What? No, I, this is terrible. I agree. Is, then you guys won't be able to draw cards. I've tried. Actually, you do every turn. I <laughs> throw seven, extra. seven at him. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you guys do the thing at the end of the iron step? Oh yeah, you guys go. You lose an extra one, and you lose a five. <laughs> he was trying to cheat. NBD. He was trying to cheat. <laughs> the wounds they are reflected. I think I can maybe do something. No, get out of here. If everybody's cool about what I do. <laughs> People are gonna have to get that real cool about a lot of stuff. This entire game is me and Veggie just looking at each other like, no, 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 like it won't do anything to you, mm -hmm. but. It'll just be a scary thing that we, you're gonna need us to not deal with right away. We'll yeah, but, it but it, it'll go away and it won't have another effect. Do you wonder okay. what that feels like? Potentially. Okay. Having scary things that. One, two, yeah, sure, three, four, okay. five, six. Sure, uh, I am going to cast down. Rocco. Yeah. With X as three. Get out of here with that. Whatever so, you're thinking about, stop thinking. I about. could make the it's wound fine. reflection go away. That's good. Or I could just have a blocker. 
Um, make the wound reflection go away. But then like you won't be able to dome people for 20. And that's I so don't funny. want to hit people for you 20. Right it is now. kind of funny. It but, is funny. But, but I, that I definitely don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to grab Rex Age and I've probably seen that card and blow I that really up. forgot about it's it. It's one of my I favorites. Never play black. It's a it makes card. people absolutely panic every yeah. time you play it. Um, I'm also going to use Cloud Stone Curio uh, when the Rex Age comes in to bounce rock. So you targeted uh, Wound Reflection with the Rex Age? Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Hate that. Oh, yes. Hate the Eldrazi Monument. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Canopy Vista for land for turn. And I think we just chill here. Yep, nothing's good for me. All right, I would like to sack this treasure at your end step. Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, worldly cheater. I'm waiting for the part where people start letting attacks go through to draw answers. That's my favorite <laughs> phase of the game. Are we cool with the worldly tutor? <laughs> yeah, enjoy. I love a worldly tutor this time of year. So I changed what I was gonna get. I wanted to get a big stinky crater hoof but I realized that I cannot do anything. So I got a Seaborn Muse on top of my library. Yeah, I guess if you play two more, Drop. Silver Zero. As oh, long no, as there's, there's no flyers. flyers. Yeah, flyers. That's why I said I gotta blow up the uh, artifact. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so it is my upkeep. I should have an I already drew, that's a mistake, but you know, that's okay. We're gonna stack one of these little elf babies. Um, and I'm also gonna look at the top card of my library because I could do that. Cool, love that for me. I will go to combat. Um, I'm gonna swing Lathrole, you have things in the air, right? Mm -hmm. um, so Alan and Veggie. I've been spared. Three two twos are coming at you, as well as a four three and a three four. I will block one of the two twos. Okay. And take the rest. Okay, um, so it'll be two, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay, does this die? One of them did. No, it's right? indestructible. It's indestructible. Oh, they're indestructible. I will, okay. I will, I will gain ten life. Okay. I lose one. Cool. Damn. No blocks. <laughs> three damage. Yep. Okay, off of and the this three, I make three boy. other elves. We're about to get whopped. But I'll just put them here because they're going to get untapped, I think. Like so. the song? So Dang. I will gain the two life, and then I will make a trapped treasure token, and I will put a plus one, plus one counter on my Gallic Reapers. Did, okay. you, did you draw off the veggie damage? Um, I'm debating if I want to do that. Like you know, I will draw like, off of the veggie damage. Right. And I'm going to look at the top part of my library off a room longer. Cool. All right, <clears throat> I will play that Seaborn Muse you all know about. No! Mm. I hate that. Yep. Now you've got 10 elves. It, but this has... But it doesn't counter. Yeah. Yeah. So you're oh, good. Oh, it's 10 other elves? Yeah. yeah. Oh, phew. Because it has to tap for its own ability. Yeah. Phew. All right, go ahead. Okay. You on tap? I'm on tapping, you're on tapping. Okay. Now it's my upkeep step. Okay, I would like to cast a second harvest. Okay. What are you? For each token I control, I'll put a token of that onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, so now this is gonna go to 10. <laughs> and then uh, triggers yeah. and a treasure. Nice knowing you. Bye-bye. Um, this triggers. Okay. Gain. My heart is racing. Okay. I would like to tap Lathril and these 10 elves to drain everybody for 10 and gain 10. Ooh. Hate that. Turns out Seaborn Muse is good. Okay. Um, after that, no other effects. I'm cool. down to eight. That's fine. I am at 20. That was a 26, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to draw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Plains. Tap for a hibernation sliver, so I can pay two life and return them to my hand. Nice. Mm -hmm. Save more. Hibernation. Bit. Hibernation. Kind of cute. Um, cascade oh, yeah. trigger off of the hibernation sliver. I think there's a good target for that. There is. It is the it's tempting the worm. Seedborn muse. Actually, yeah, because then I gain five life. It's <laughs> the, definitely the seedborn muse. Okay. And I get a. I gain life, or is it a? a yeah. You gain life equal to its power, so oh, you gain, so gain two. two. You sure you didn't want me to do that again on Alan's turn? You could hit the Nighthawk Scavenger and I gain 10 life. Yeah, that sounds really cool, guys. <laughs> Thanks. That's exactly what I want. Threat assessment. CDH players so. are real good at threat assessment. I'm going to tap two and I'm going to suspend the Wheel of Fate. Oh, I love nice. it. Nice. Everybody get your, uh, get your smothering tides out. <laughs> 
I'm if just we like that's that's a fresh hand. Get, that's a fresh hand for new. Enough to get there, yeah. it is. Yeah. If that if that if we live long enough for that to go off, I'll immediately replay Tempting Worm. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. I would fucking love that. Um. Jeez. Uh, uh, I can go to Punchies. That's like. Do they give the Do they I'm give the pass. poisonous to players only? You're gonna pass. Is, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pass because these are only one ones. It's not. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. These are creatures. only two twos. These are wow. only one what, ones. What a she can block with those. I don't want to lose them. I don't really feel like chucking. I feel like having some blockers open in case I get some flying elves thrown my way. Because I could at least block a couple of them, right. I think. Um, so I think I'm going to pass for now. I'm hoping the Wheel of Fate happens. On tap. <clears throat> oh, four turns? Yeah. Ginger Brute. Ginger, Ginger Brute. Brute's going to save us all. Uh, uh, big draws. A nice board wipe. Ooh. We're going to make the Ginger Brute. Uh, Un, unhaste blockable or whatever. That should be keyworded, right? Yep. <laughs> Ginger Brute can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> You're sending it at Tori? I'm sending Ginger Brute and the Scavenger at you. Okay. They all have haste. And... What? They all have haste. <laughs> yeah. I know. Just, just, just like, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, so we'll definitely take that. And we'll push these two at you. Okay. So it's two. two. Okay. The, the, it the Nighthawk life scavenger link. is coming at you. Yeah, it has so. lifelink and it's uh, how big? It is a, uh, what are we working at with in Graveyard 2? I think we, we were one at of five. Instant, sorcery, Yeah, we are at five. Nothing has changed, I think. No. Enchantment, it, it no, got it's, yours it's, on uh, the opponents. It's, uh, it's yeah. Op oppos, yeah. Yeah. You can gain five. I think it's, I just eat it. Okay. I guess no blocks for me. You get lifelink regardless, right? Even if it's, yeah. And it's it's a five? Yeah, you can just put something in front of it and yeah, it it's gonna like happen anyway. dies, three, four, right? Five. It nope. does mean that's one less card for him to draw. I yeah, think. I don't think yeah. there's, I don't think it dies. Uh, well, two, three, f I have a four, four and mm -hmm. a... Yeah, it's a five, Yeah, three, I'm, I'm doing my math, nothing's, nothing's big enough to kill it. I, oh, okay. I'm, I, was like, <laughs> I just, wait, I'm, I'm not missing anything, right? Like, all your stuff's indestructible. You can just like yeah. gang block it and yeah. kill it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I just, I, my math was like, it's not big enough to do it. And then oh. I, I realized yeah. power toughness. I was like, yeah, I was not thinking that. Oh, okay. I'm bad at this. Everybody <laughs> on the internet knows I'm bad at power toughness stuff. Uh, so I will block it. Okay. So it, it will die. Goodbye. I will lose three, gain 10. Seven. So I will gain seven. Here's my ten. And I will draw six cards. Can't believe that to can I grab that Nighthawk scavenger? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put it right here. Nice, solid. It's exile. A present for you. <laughs> a present with lifelink. <laughs> a gift. Land for turn. I would Beautiful love land. a all slivers pod. Oh my god. And we'll tap for. That sounds chaotic. We'll tap for seven. Yes. Okay. We'll use four of it for a crypt cast. Okay. Yeah, good card. And I've got three, seven. And we're gonna rip Gex. Rip, okay. rip, shit, rip, shit. What do you do? I'm gonna discard 12 cards. Yes! Okay. And yes. We will rip the top 12 cards off of Lewis' deck. Okay. You don't want Sliver? Do you, do you, one, two, three, four, surprised. five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12? Yes. Okay. Do you just get them or is it revealed? Uh, so it is. Exile the top X cards of target opponent's library. You may play lands and cast spells from among the cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. <laughs> so, Undergrowth Stadium, Soul Ring, Riz the Exiled, Wirewood Lodge, who needs that, not me, a Swamp, <laughs> Copperhorn Scout, Forest, Forest, Canopy Technician, Deathrite Shaman, Agadim's Awakening, <laughs> uh, Command Tower. <laughs> Agadim's oh, Awakening wait, does, hits for zero. Right. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, oh, yep. So okay. that was a lot of lands. Actually, yeah, that was that's not yeah. that's not a lot of lands. Death Ray Shaman good. is not bad for you. Um you can play some can you play the lands or no? He can, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, I already but played you are, yeah, this it's, time. yeah. We'll start with a soul ring. Okay. <gasps> we'll extort it. Everybody gets uh, Everybody oh, yeah. loses one and I gain six. Uh oh. Okay, now we kill Alan, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We will play oh, no. Deathrite Shaman. Extorted? Extorted. Oh, One. No. We will do the Canopy Tactician. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll extort that one as well, so we get to tap down the other I, guy. I feel like it's uh, greedy six. extorting all of these. 
gonna oh, do you just die? I'll go to two. No, I, I okay. will. If you play anything else. Well, because you've only got one one colored <laughs> mana left, right? Yep. I will be able to take my turn yep. at one. So we'll do it one more time <laughs> in that case. Jeez. I'm at one. And then I'll play Reese non extorted. I Good was Lord. like, you just said. You, yeah. <laughs> you really, God. really want to play magic with Reggie, huh? We'll leave these exiled and I'll ship it from there. Okay. All right. I know, because I was please, talking to you and you were like... Please, deck, I need you to be good to me right now. These are right. Cool, I didn't want any of these. Not this card at all. Not that Wirewood. Not that okay. Wirewood. Card. Wirewood, Wirewood. I'm going to play a Mountain. Beautiful. I'm not going to play Mountain. Ne I never <laughs> saw it. Never happened. I actually need to not play that Mountain right now. Well, the good news is, if you Tempting Worm again... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because it's only one and one card in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right now on the board, that kills me. That kills you. I don't want to kill you. You so don't want. I don't want to tap it. Mm -hmm. As I can tap it, it kills you. But I would like more people to deal with Alan. I would like to swing out at Alan uh, with my flyers and do some damage. I would like to not tap Lathril because that makes me sad to kill you. It's okay. Scary. I think. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. So I will just have to. Play how I will play. Are to you see gonna kill it? How? No, I can't. I'm, yeah, I can't deal with that. Oh, at all. okay. So, uh, I'm gonna tap one, two, uh, three, four, five for mana geyser. Yes. So, love it. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. How many tap ones? Five. Uh, so eight, nine. Eight. And <laughs> seventeen. Yep. All right. I'm gonna use three. To flashback Faithless Looting. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, I'll discard Absence Pilgrim and I don't know Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's 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 formulating. The pieces this is gonna be awesome. The pieces Whatever. are yeah. here. I believe in you. What are you gonna do? All right, yeah, I can I can at least I can do this part now. One, uh, so white and a green, uh, and then seven of this. Rocco for six. Okay. So just gonna take a look over here. Um, oh. I should probably also. I'm gonna. Well, I'll use the Cloudstone Curio uh, to bounce, to Rex bounce it. Rex Age. Mm -hmm. It's the Cloudstone Curio. Cloudstone. 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 I think. I think I know what I got to do. I would but... kill Ginger Booth though, so you can't do it. Obviously. <laughs> I'm just like I'm making I'm double checking that there's not anything that's better than this, but I think I think this is this is gonna help. I'm gonna find Geode Rager. Okay. What is that? It's a four three with first strike. Um, and landfall, I go to each creature target player controls. <laughs> Love it. it. Seems good for you. Yeah, I yeah. Have you played a land this turn? I have not played a land nice. this turn. Uh, and I'm, and when that comes in, I will also bounce Rocco. Oh man, I was gonna say I hope it's a fetch, but I, you can't fetch right. No, can't, <laughs> cannot do that. Or you could if it was like a terramorphic expanse. Uh, these are back VH in my stable hand. Terramorphic expanse. It is. Okay, it is. Uh, I will play a rootbound crag as land for turn. Nice, got there. So I think I have to go, out. Okay. Because if I go, if I go to you, mm -hmm. you kill me. Like I, I think you, I think you're the threat right now. Aside yeah, no, from having a kill on me and board, whenever. My, so, my thought was more tapping all Lua's stuff down to, as a, in lieu of being able to get rid of that. Uh, all your stuff's goaded. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> cool, I got swamp book anyway. Don't worry, I'm not playing the swamp. That's right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll use three of this. Uh, it's right there. I to make a Nighthawk scavenger. <gasps> Sick. Uh. I'm gonna use. It's probably significantly different than it was before. Yeah, three for a mirage mirror. Oh, nice. Let's see, there's not anything like useful I can turn this into, right? No. Right now. I don't uh, think so. I, um, what? I could get like flying and destructible you could do and plus that. one, like because it's those mana will go away anyway. Uh, <laughs> but there's nothing. Oh no, I can make it freaking uh, the the thing or for uh, Amaret's. Oh, Amaret's uh, archive. Yeah, archive. What about? Uh, if I'm so, if I copy that now, I'll gain double off of the the Nighthawk sca Scavenger token. 
It's got haste. Is yeah, it? no, oh, it's a, yeah, okay, it's, gotcha, it's got gotcha, haste, gotcha. but it's exiled end of turn. So yeah, I'll I'll spend the other the other two mana that I've left to make that uh, Amaret's archive. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and we'll say here's your here's my Nighthawk scavenger token that's gonna die at the end of turn. Uh, we'll swing this. We both have flying. You don't, or you do? No, I don't. Yeah. Swing that one. Yeah, Alan, that's for you. Yeah, I'll take the five or seven. Seven, right? Yeah. Take the seven, I'll gain 14. Nice. He's back in the game. Kind of impressive. Because yeah, I well done. Because I not worked like You're that. sick. All right. You don't get to draw two, though. Do not get yeah, to right. draw two. <laughs> hey, it's, 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 you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm fine with no, you. No, you don't draw cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I will pass my turn. This gets exiled. Okay. Spicy. That was awesome. Well done. Very, very good. <laughs> the wheels were very, very cool. Then. Upkeep, I got a sack. <clears throat> One of these little elf. <laughs> All right. Now you can activate Lathril. Yeah. I could. <laughs> With impunity. I could. That is true. Let's first. Yeah, a big six. Use four mana. I'm gonna play it for, for a Sylvan Messenger. <laughs> So it is a 2-2 two, two with Trample. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna look at the top four cards in my library, put all elf cards revealed this way into my hand, and the rest in the bottom of my library in any order. Mm. Two, three, four, please be one. All right, I'm gonna get uh, all elf cards. Okay, Marwin and a, here. these two are gonna go to the bottom. So I'll take these back, and I have a Gala Greeters trigger. I will put a plus one, plus one, is that what I'm gonna do? Yeah, plus one, plus one, counter all my gathers. Second one of these, tap down this Elvish Mystic and put out a Morrowin. Uh, whenever another creature or an elf enters the battlefield in my control, I get a plus one, plus one, counter a Morrowin, triggering battle creators. I will gain two life, because I didn't do that yet. And then I'll spend my last two treasure for this little bitty. Uh, plus one, plus one, counter. Here, Gala treasure token comes in tapped. All right. Everybody, whenever this dies or another elf dies, I can pay one and one life, and if I do, I can draw a card. Uh, I'm not goaded, right? You nope. are not. Just Alan. me. Just Alan. Just me and all my creatures. Flyers? <laughs> Flyers? None. I'm going to swing these at you. Um, so, yeah, nine, that's 18, right? Ooh. 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I will swing Lathril at Veggie. And then the 30 at you. Yep, I got a 10. Okay. All right, yeah. Uh, I three? Can't, I can't block. So. Okay, I will make three brand new elves. All right, Um, I don't want to play land for turn for reasons. You don't know why. <laughs> I need to do something else. What was it? Oh, elves enter three, correct? Yep. So this goes to four, and then I th think that's it. Oh, I can, is your thing still there? I can lose the life drawer. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted. All right, I will pass the turn. Cool. No. <laughs> both, both of them were so <laughs> <laughs> I have no shame. I'm all uh, tied up, so it doesn't matter. Wheel of Fate's gonna go down to three. Oh, nice. If we you hit Alan for 10 right now, you can't swing yours on his turn. We'll be dead, and then you can blow up my board and I will happily live. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly. blowing up your board. I don't have anything to blow up Well, I'm just saying either one of you could get rid of myself and I'd be okay with it. Yeah. I'm just. But as long as I'm alive, you're yeah. not okay with that. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Um, I'm going to tap a mountain plane. Tori's scary. Slivers are cascading. They're gonna do it. Yeah. They do do it. Um, I'm gonna cancel on It's only on a three now. Because if you aren't dead yeah. to Tori, then Tori may be dead to you. I'm gonna so. swing. I'm gonna definitely what spread it What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Uh, so sliver creatures I control have when they enter the battlefield, it deals one damage to target player or planeswalker and I gain a life. Ooh. So, this is gonna cascade first off of the first sliver. Uh, is it land? No, no, it's not land. Yep. Mm -hmm. Herald's Horn! Choose a creature type. Slivers, they cost- Too expensive? Yeah, it's gonna oh, be two it's drop. three! I thought that was a four. Never mind. Uh, let's keep going. Gem Hide Sliver. Oh, oh a good one. <laughs> all right, so gem hide sliver. I, all my slivers tap for mana of any color. 
I heal damage to target player and I gain life. So I'll deal one damage to you. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I gain life. Woo, 17. All right, I'm going to send seven. He's gonna do 10, eight, nine, 10 over at Alan. Boo, boo, dead by slivers. Yeah, super dead, big dead. Big dead, <laughs> uh, you don't have any flyers? I do not have any flyers right now. We should we send right. one of them at him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send four over at this, you. If this is, okay. if this is that Two poison. Board. You should flip it, yeah. <laughs> I'll scream. Two poison. Cool, you're dead, so I don't get to draw a card, which sucks. Yeah. But you were gonna whack me next turn anyway. You were goaded, and I'm like sitting yeah, here like hee 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 hee. The the goad it would have, mm. I would have swung ginger brute at Lua, and that's about it. And everything else would have come to you. So yeah, it was that was the end there. This is gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. So veggie, it's all up to you to do something about all of this. Not a problem. Yeah, things would have gotten. He real, said with no solution in hand. Real, real hairy. Okay, this is gonna be. Weird. Uh, Get it, gang. No way, really? Yeah, a little bit. Let's see this kooky turn. All right, I gotta, I gotta play a land, and I need to deal with last roll. No. Or I just need to make sure that that doesn't happen to me. Um. So first, let's see, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tori, if the boot, if the greaves were gone, could you deal with last roll? I mean, I can't directly deal with last roll, but. I got some scary dudes. I think we're saying there's nothing in her I don't hand. have a target yeah. removal. No. So yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so I'm gonna need to save one, two, there. I need, that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, three more. Mm -hmm. Three, okay, four. You could have played it and just banked on me getting dead. No, I was too scared. Scared money don't make no money. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's just trying to provide for her family. <laughs> her army babies. I think we get a rock go. For six? Uh, yeah, so six. X is three. Oh, three, okay. I have an idea, but I don't think it's a good one. You always have good ideas. Thanks. Mm -hmm. This one's not one. I, I think the, the simple answer to this is I do not have an answer to that. So for sure, uh, it will get to Lewis' turn and you will have the ability to take me out of the game. I'll have the high ground, Anakin. So what I can do is I can play a land, mm -hmm. but I don't have one in my hand. So I have to grab something and get me a land. Um, somebody gets goaded. If I goad you, you just go, okay, oh, great, tap, tap my stuff, you die. I'm dead. If I go Tori, then that means everything's going to you. Mm -hmm. and you probably tap your stuff and I die. Mm -hmm. And then if you get rid of this, Tori's got the flying, so it just kind of right. her win. Right. Uh, I'm not, I, I don't have anything that lets me Double gain goad. life. Careful. Double go, gain <sighs> life. Just like, just like woohoo. Uh, no. It's yeah. not right. I, I, think, I think we're just gonna see how things shake out. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna grab Glunch. Glunch. Nice. Glunch. <laughs> yeah. The best. Yeah. You play that, right? Somebody's gonna get two counters on a creature. Somebody's gonna get to draw a card. Somebody's gonna get two treasures at the end of my turn. That's going to bounce <laughs> Rocco. See you later, Rocco. Ah, I think we just passed the end of the turn. Pasios, pasios. Pasios, pasios. Um, so somebody, somebody gets. Let me see. I do. I want treasures or do I want cards? I don't think the counters matter at all to me. I think I draw. I'm gonna draw a card. Um. Somebody gets treasure, somebody gets counters. Counters, treasures, any preference? I would love a counter. I would love a counter. Oh, all right. Yeah. Think about our land situation is kind of good. Counters would help either of us, I think. I'm, I'm sure that two plus one plus one counters are not enough to uh, persuade you not to kill me, right? I mean, who knows? It depends on what I draw because I have two swamps in here. Right, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what? Take two counter, two okay. plus one plus one counters on a creature of your choice and two treasures for you. Okay. Alright, and I'll draw my card. Alright. Um, let's That's play creepy. Magic the Gathering, friends. I'm gonna pay four of my mana to tap out and put a wirewood channel. Actually, I'm so sorry. Thanks. This has to go. So I sack one of these, move my new elves to be the old elves, and then yep. uh, cast this card, which makes 
Marwin go up one. Golly Gators trigger. I'm going to, I'm going to put a plus one, plus one, Golly Gators. Okay. Oh, and also a trigger from Tireless Provisioner from my land. Um, I guess we just get another token and this should not be tapped. Cool. All right. Do you have enough elves to tap with Marwin? Yes. Oh, well, for once, yeah, I could tap those. Okay, and it's 10 of them, right? It's 10, so everybody would lose 10, I would gain 10, and then I would have to hit you for seven, which you have three blockers. So let's say I tap- You could probably kill us both. I think so. After I tap uh, Lathril and my 10 elves, leaving one untapped over here. Veggie, I'm so sorry to say that you are out of the game. Actually, I'm gonna pay two in response. Veggie! I'm gonna he activate actually. Mirage Mirror and just make it a, a copy of Tempting Worm so I have a second one when I die. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to I was like, I was like, it's the I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so then after that happens, goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, you Rip. lose 10. I lose 10, I go to seven. Yep, and I will go to 48 because that matters. And then I will swing my remaining ones at you. So these and these will be going at Tori. I will tap them so you know. And these are my three biggest, which I assume you would like to block. Mm -hmm. um, with the remaining damage being three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Enough to 10, kill 11, me. 12. And that's it. 10, we got there, friends. We got there. Hells do stuff. And this oh. is the champion of the game. That was wild. So, any other cards in here? What'd you have? Tell us a little bit about uh, what you could have pos possibly done. Um, so I was, I was desperately digging for uh, a little card called Insurrection. Uh, oh, yep. I was like, I don't think I have another way to get around this right now, uh, or to try and to go to enough, but I couldn't get the lands for it. Mm -hmm. um, if I had drawn into a, if if I I I was like at too low of a life to really do anything. Yeah. I was hoping to find a way to gain just enough to be over 10. Uh, Rocco for zero to grab uh, Ar Arbor Thinger. Arbor Elf, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then play second land to get the double goad. That would've been kind of cool. Though. A it double been, goad, I would yeah. say double goad. But I, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't, I, I couldn't mean, figure out the life gain. I'm just impressed that you held out for so long. Was this your top card? That was my top card. Well, my top card was a rampant growth. Oh, the clot sliver. Regenerating. I looked at it earlier. It was a swamp. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, was there anything else that you, what was your, the last card in your hand? It was a land? Uh, it was a bazooka oh. bog, which didn't really help me any, um, cause I killed Alan. So he was the only person with like a graveyard I had to care about. Mm -hmm. um, the next card would have been a clot sliver. Wouldn't really get me out of this jam anyway. I was really hoping to hit on the wheel of fate because I ran out of cards pretty quick yeah. to cast and cascade. I mm -hmm. was hoping to see it go off too. <laughs> I know. I was like, come on, let's wheel. Yeah. I love right? wheeling and, and dealing. And I was, I was gonna like stay true to my word. If it, if we got around to it and it went off, I was like, I was gonna immediately re replay tempting Worm yep. on that turn. <laughs> yeah. Wheel. If I had more like um, things off the top of my library, I would have maybe not tapped, but it, it was just right there and yeah. it ended up being the the right thing. So, oh yeah. Um, but that was super fun. Would y'all like to tell people just uh, again where they can find you? And we'll of course tag in the comments, but. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What's up guys, Ram Gang Mental Misplay. We're here for a good time. Uh, the Slurms McKenzie VDH. You can find me on Tuesdays and Fridays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, basically anywhere you can write Mental Misplay. You can run down to the beach and scrawl it in the sand with a stick. And I'll jump out of the waves and throw a beach party with you. Uh, Primarily we do CEDH, but we really try to mix it up and play just fun decks, good times, you know, we're wacky, that, that whole thing. So thank you guys so much for having me. This is absolutely a pleasure. Hi, uh, I'm Benji Wagon. I co-host Decked Out, uh, another EDH gameplay show. Uh, you can also find me on the internet in places where people do internet things uh, as Benji Wagon. Uh, and I do funny stuff and it will find its way to you. But if you find your way to it, then even better. And as always, uh, we want to thank you so much for checking out episodes of Scry Babies. We are a very new channel. So if you are enjoying this content, make sure you like and subscribe because that's what people say, right? And also we have a Patreon where we have tiers as low as one US dollar where you can join us for bi-weekly game nights on Mondays. Uh, we do deck builds. We just have conversations with all of our yeah. patrons and it's super, super fun. We have really fun merch, really cool tokens, really cool stickers, and I make them. Isn't that kind of cool? That's Look at that. Cool. Wow, oh my God. Uh, yeah, so definitely check us out um, if you're into it. Uh, yeah, also just give us a like and a share if you don't feel like subbing, that helps us too. Yeah. So thank you so much. Bye, thank, thank you, you so much yours. for being here. <laughs>